Hey guys, Darth Celestian here, and today we are back on the happy little snapshot world. So today, I have recently discovered the latest snapshot has been released, which adds a couple new things that uh, we're going to go check out today. <laughs> so first of all, what we're going to go looking for is a specific biome which happens to be right next to my village. Huh. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> ah. Ah, my throat, I swear. Okay, so we need the savannah biome, because that's apparently the biome that the newly implemented feature is in. Now, I'm not sure, like, if it has any special requirements or anything, so I'm just kind of flying around hoping to spot it. And no, we're not on about the cherry grove today. <laughs> uh, hmm. Interesting, interesting. So, I'm not exactly seeing any spawn. So that's, uh, that's a bit frustrating. Actually, first things first, I want to make sure... Okay, yeah, yeah, so they're definitely... They are definitely in this world. But I might have to go and find a... Unloaded, uh... Savannah biome. So we're gonna quickly land here. And do slash set wolf spawn. Now you're not gonna see gonna see any text or anything because I have my chat turned off on here. And now we're just gonna oh actually also do game rule keep inventory true. That way at the end of the video I can just run the slash kill command and be back at the spawn point with all of our <laughs> found treasures. Hmm. And I also need to wait for the chunks to load as well. Because <laughs> I want to get as far away from my base as far village as I can as to be able to find a fresh savannah biome. Because whilst, yes, I could just spawn in the armadillo, I... I don't really want to. I want to find one naturally spawned. Hmm. And I there hasn't been anything on whether or not the trial key has a use yet. So we're going to be we're still waiting on a use for that key, so we're just going to be floating, we're sitting in those armor stands for a while. Hmm. Okay, this... What? What's going on with my headphones? Nothing there. Nothing here. Nothing here, and nothing in Minecraft. Interesting. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> oh, back to searching. Okay. You know, they should just add an item in creative mode called the biome locator. So you can right click it, find a biome, then right click it again, and it will be like a compass that leads you to the, ne the nearest biome. <sighs> okay. Okay, options, chat settings, size, capacity. So yeah, that's obviously my local game host, but you should be fine. Slash, look, oh, almost got the slash. Slash, locate, biome, savannah. And hopefully it won't take us back to the one by our base. 
Ah, uh, it took us back to the one by our base. Okay. <laughs> Let's go for the Savannah Plateau. Let's go for that one. <laughs> 3,000 blocks away. That definitely should be good. Oh. And I spawned in a cave. Of course I did. Chatter things. Bap. Bap. Okay, this is very far. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Here we get. Here we are. A nice, lovely savanna biome or savanna plateau. Uh, then the only question is, will one spawn? <gasps> I think we've got them, chat. <laughs> we do. We have the armadillo. <laughs> Hello, little guy. No. Oh. Look at you, huh? So I don't know like much about them. How th I know, but I know that they obviously have the armadillo scoot, which can be used to make dog armor. But apart from that, I have no idea. And apparently, they crawl up into a ball. So, hmm. Well, it doesn't. They don't seem to do it from being hurt. Interesting. And yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, little one. Hold on. Uh... Okay, so potions of healing don't seem to work. How do, how do I make you turn into a ball? How do I make you guys breed? That's a good question. To Google! <laughs> Minecraft. Armadillo. Okay, uh... It's easily startled when armadillos detect a nearby threat. Okay. Favorite food is spider eyes. I <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so spider eyes and hostiles. So if I would just say um get I think I said zombie. So we're gonna grab a zombie spawner real quick. This is spawner and spawn egg. Uh there it is. Yeah, it's on easy. Slash time set night. So then this guy should be able to spawn in. Oh, look at that! It just curls up into a little ball. <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of cute. I want to... I just want to get a screenshot of the little guy. There we go. Okay, zombie, you... No, that your, your time is up. You have served your purpose, zombie. There we go, little guy. The zombie's gone. Hey. <laughs> you just want to stay in your ball, do you? Well, then how about if I try to lure you out? Oh, you came out. Okay. But I also have spider eye. Doesn't seem I can use it on you. Hmm. Maybe it has to be fermented. No. Nope. Hmm. Well, I guess there's no real, real way to uh, to breed the armadillo at the moment. So I have no idea how to like get scoot uh, armadillo scoots, but I know how I can find out. <laughs> uh, okay, this one should. Sh this should work. Oh, okay, okay. Ooh, 
actually, that's something that saying that I could try. So, if we were to get a brush, for instance, apparently... Oh yeah, look at that! We can brush Armadillo to get scoop from them, which makes the job a whole lot easier. And it doesn't seem to do anything to the shell, so that's perfect. And obviously, I am in creative, which is why I'm uh, able to have an infinite brush of scoot collecting. Please remember, not all brushes are like this. So as we probably notice in the top screen, that now gives us the ability to get um, wolf armor. So we're just going to send the brush away. And I am going to grab an armadillo spawn egg, just because I want to bring one home with me. We're going to run slash killer real quick. And... Oh, okay, I slept in the bed here anyway. So I me setting the world spawn here was uh, kind of pointless. <laughs> okay, uh, time, step, day. Now then, I need to find... Well, there's a skeleton, which I can use for bones. Because even though I am in creative, I'm going to try and do a lot of things in... Sub uh, like, as if I were in survival. So, we've got a bone. And we're going to say, for this instance, that... The wolf we find is an insta-tame with just one bone, because some can be, some might not be. Now I just need to find one. <laughs> now then, where are you, wolf? Oh, hey, uh, <laughs> a ruined nether portal. Have I visited this one yet? Oh, clearly not. Otherwise I would have took the subsidian. This actually is very useful. Because if there's ever any updates to anything in the nether, in any future version, I can just use this. Now, where's my flint? Uh, I, don't, I don't remember where they've got flint and steel. Ah, here we go. Okay, so me lighting another portal isn't the end of the world. Oh, actually, it should probably be best to drop down the coordinates, won't it? Got it. <laughs> okay, now back to finding a wolf, because I don't I don't want to spawn one in. Here we go. A couple, uh, a little uh, herd of wolves. Oh, wow, that one actually was one bone and gone. See, okay, that one took three. And... I, come here, that was two wolf bones, I believe. Okay, now let's head home, with our, uh, our adorable little puppies in tow. Let's just go super fast, so that way they just teleport over when we're somewhere closer. Puppies? Oh, don't tell me I'm actually going to have to walk them all the way back. Come on, pups. Uh, I guess we're doing this the long way round. <laughs> oh. Without falling down in holes, hopefully. Okay. So we've got a few wolves. That we're now taking back to the home base. Which should just be over this hill, if I remember correctly. And of course, I don't have Optifine, so I can't, like, zoom in to find, try and find anything. But there is our village! Yeah, I can tell this is our village, because there's the cherry grove up there. And there is the <laughs> infinite pumpkin pie machine. <laughs> Oh, 
Are the puppies still with me? Yeah, they are. Good, 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 good. Okay. So then, we now have our three lovely pups. One, two, and three. And I'm gonna I'm gonna run a science experiment here. It's just one of those little science experiments, you know, to see if something works and hoping it does. Armadillo, lead, lead. Okay, it works. <laughs> and okay, Anvil. Because I don't want him to despawn. Let's call him... Oh yeah, cat. Oh right, I've got to put the name tag in first. Uh, Arthur. Arthur the Armadillo. And actually, whilst I am currently here... Cod. Hey cat. I have also added a cat to my little, uh, to my team. Come on, over here. <laughs> okay, now back to the real mission at hand. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've got a crafting table somewhere. Did I put it in my house? Nope. Did I put it in my neighbor's house? Oh, it's up here. <laughs> okay. So. Oh, it's literally just crafting it with the scoots. Okay. Now, with an entire stack, we can make ten different sets of wolf armor. And I don't know, like, I, have, I haven't heard anything about changing the color of them or anything. But, I mean, it doesn't hurt to check, <laughs> so... Let's get some, uh, let's get some colours. Purple, magenta, and blue. Let's see if this works. It, it doesn't! Okay, so there is currently no way to change the patterns, or the colour of them. That is something of interest to take note of. Then we give one set to you, one set to you, and one set to you. And now look at my little pups. <laughs> Look at them with their armor. I wonder, can I change your collar too, cat? Oh, I can change the cat's collar too! That is adorable! Okay, and we're just gonna throw all those into there. As this is our uh, items gathered through this mod. I'm actually just gonna... I'm just gonna quickly do a little bit of an upgrade to it. By making it into a double chest. Oh! Because I'm sure when they add, they'll add more stuff in the future, so I'm gonna need more storage space anyways. Now I'm gonna need some names for my little pets here, so I am really hoping on you guys to give me some <laughs> some ideas on what to name my little <laughs> animal companions. Hmm. Now that's really all they've added. But as usual, we are going to check our infinite pumpkin pie machine to make sure it's still running smoothly. Yep, uh, everything okay in the chicken side of things? Yep, ooh, things are running a little low on the sugar side. I really need to find a better way to optimize this thing. Let's see if, let's see how they're actually looking on sugarcane collection. That one's got 21. Uh, come on, come back, buddy. That one's got 33. And that one's got 17. So not a lot of sugar cane. Not a lot of sugar cane. But sugar cane is still getting sent down, so that is good. Then we just... 
the hope that these get filled up. Yep. You wait for that one to come back. Always that one, I swear. Okay, so the way I figured is, if I deactivate this one here as well, then as it gets sent down there, it should lose momentum, and... Ah, oh, of course. <laughs> of course. I would never be that lucky. It worked so well in testing. There we go. <laughs> so this one should now have emptied into that hopper, which, yep. Now we just reactivate these, and have to use this little system to give them a nudge. This really isn't the most optimal uh, solution to dealing with this problem, I swear. But, hey, it's all I've got. <laughs> Because uh, my redstone knowledge isn't really the best. So any tutorials or anything like that that you guys can think of that could help me better optimize this would, uh, would be grateful. Because <laughs> now I've also got to send that one back to the start. To deactivate these two. Which should then start filtering through this one. Hmm. I'm sure I could figure out a way. But it's just... I'd need to sacrifice at least one row of sugarcane collection. And I don't know if I want to make that sacrifice. <laughs> I mean, obviously I could, but I just, I don't know. Oh, I also forgot to mention, uh, Aurora's new look. What's she doing over here? Oh. Uh, sorry, Aurora seems to have, uh, moved herself. I don't know why she's done that. I don't know when she did that. Uh, yeah, she shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Yeah, we have Aurora's lovely new look. It is based around Minecraft. But it's based around the Minecraft logo, actually. Which is obviously the dirt, the grass block with the grass, a green top, and the brown shorts. That's good. She is Minecraft. <laughs> okay, then... I will send that one off again. As it should then be pumping more sugar back into the system. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to run out of sugar eventually, unless I can figure out a better way to optimize the sugar production. But let's see. Ooh! Almost one and a half uh, double chests full. That's not bad on, the, uh, on that front, to be honest. Obviously, we have our army of chickens and our pumpkin machine, which is, uh... Well... Need I really say more on the pumpkin production part of the, the pumpkin pie machine? <laughs> oh, actually, that's not full all the way to the back. Interesting. Well, there's definitely a lot more optimization that I need could do for this thing. But that's fine. Uh, one thing I did notice in the change logs is that it said that falling anvils now do decrease damage when wearing a helmet. So, we're going to use this house as a little test subject and grab a new anvil just because. Slash game mode. No, not, su not creative. Survival. So, we're going to go without a helmet real quick. That did. Four hearts. Then we're going to grab a helmet. Actually, hold on. I'm just going to... I should do I have a pickaxe? I should have a pickaxe. I don't, but I can craft one. Because I don't want to keep going into... Creative, into survival, into creative, into survival. It's... 
It's just not fun. <laughs> and also food. Oh, right, yeah, I just... I've been nominating on golden apples, haven't I? <laughs> there we go. Now, obviously, we're going to wait for that effect to wear off before we go testing the thing again. Uh, that's resistance, not... Oh, no, that is the absorption. Okay. Well, we're going to have to get rid of that absorption, so we're just going to do a quick little... That didn't take as much damage as I hoped it would. Hello, Librarian. I'm trying to get a good amount of momentum. Hmm. Ooh, that did a good amount. Love to see it. Love to see it. Now, all we need to do is just lose that one extra half heart. There we go. Okay. So, with the helmet, the anvil falling did four hearts. Now we're wearing a helmet. Let's see how much it does from the same height. Oh, only two and a half. So it is definitely more decreased. Now, let's try it with a full set of armor, once my health is regened enough. And I don't want to use another Gapple, because obviously... But that means I've got to deal with the Absorption Hearts again. Uh, you know what? Yeah, why not? It'll provide the food I need to get the full health. So, yeah. Rotten Flesh. <laughs> now, Rotten Flesh is not a very viable food source, so I wouldn't recommend using it as a good food source. But for things like this one, I just want to quickly test whether the amount of damage something does. It's good for a quick boost. Okay. And with a full set of netherite armor with prop, prop 2. Yep, protection 2 on all pieces. That did only half a heart of damage. Which proves, without a shadow of a doubt, <laughs> that... Getting armor is always more viable than not. And yeah, don't worry about the extra set here. I wanted to make two. <laughs> Arthur the Armadillo. Oh, I can't see the name tag when it's... When I'm not looking at him. But when I'm in F1. Like, see? Arthur the Armadillo just doesn't... Oh, oh well. Hmm. Well, with that, I do believe that is everything. Hmm. I want to get a quick... I can do this to get the puppy armor. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> good pups. Good pups. And you, good little kitten. Yeah, now I just need names for these four. So if you have any suggestions... Please do just drop a random name suggestion in the comments, and I will make sure to take a look at them. But yeah. Anyways, guys, that's probably where I'm going to end it off here. Oh, skeleton. If you did enjoy, please do consider liking and subscribing. It does mean a lot to me, as it shows that you're enjoying these little snapshot videos. And yeah, it just lets me know that you guys are liking what I'm doing for you. But yeah, that's probably where I'm gonna send it off there. So, as always guys, Darth Celestian, signing out.